Welcome to the first ever daily mobility wad uh, being published. I plan on trying to do a short one every day for the rest of my life, foreseeably. Um, we're going to keep it simple and short. Uh, the number one first thing you're going to do is your homework uh, is to try to accumulate 10 minutes in a full squat. So this can be done uh, all at once. You can watch TV, but you got to do it consecutively. Uh, if you need to come out and stretch, get out of that position, that's fine. But what we're looking for here is uh, what we call uh, a full squat position. It turns out that there is uh, very little hip disease and very little uh, low back disc disease in countries that toil on the ground and sleep on the ground and uh, eat on the ground. So what we're going to do is try to uh, just get you into some deep flexion here um, and then explore that bottom position. A lot of times that, that hip capsule and deep flexion is one of the, the big problems. Um, notice that we're going to try to get heels on the ground. See if you can do that. Um, see my feet are turned out like a duck. That's less than ideal positioning and it's what's happening is it's solving a compromise with my hip, uh, lack of rotation. So what I want to try to do is have my feet pointed straight forward like that if possible. So point those feet straight forward. Um, shove those knees out and be active uh, with the knees. Try not to think about destroying your meniscus here by being all kind of inside. It's pretty hard on the knees. If you're in this position, that's probably what the bottom of your squat looks like, and that's not so awesome either. Um, you know, working side to side, you know, you can kind of compress one leg down a little bit further. This is going to be tough, and some of you guys probably need to even start by just gripping the wall and leaning back and camping out, you know, like this for upwards of 10 minutes. If you start to get a little bit compressed in the calves, watch this. I'm going to pull my knees back and then stand up. So what we don't want to do is um, leave the knees forward and stand up. That reinforces that kind of bad patterning. It's tough on the posterior horn of the meniscus. So shins always go to vertical before we stand up out of that hole. So shins vertical and then stand up. But, uh, you know, ultimately, let's work feet together, getting closer as we can so that we can hang out in a very comfortable bottom position. Um, looking at the watch, many minutes to go, as do you. Um, let's see if we can spend some time here. It's a good place to work on ankle flexibility, actually maximally closing down the ankle spaces, but you just have to accumulate 10 total minutes in this position. If you want to go really wide, find the limits of your hip capsules, that's fine too. All right, let me know how it goes.